Ethan is on the line with us. Hey, Ethan, we are going to get into a second date update with you. How are you, bro? Hey, what's up? I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you guys? Good, man. Thank you. So I'm curious. You went out with this girl. I think her name is Laura. And you guys, in your mind, you hit it off, and now she's not responding? Yeah, we went out last week. Um, it's been a few days. Uh, felt like the day went great. And are you worried about her or are you wanting to go out with her like what's in your mind yeah a little bit because like i felt like on the date like i don't know we had like a really good time and uh we had actually like planned on going back out and that's like the part that i guess is kind of confusing to me you know i it's interesting ethan because i think we've all been in this situation where someone doesn't respond to a text and then i follow up with another one and then they don't respond to that one and you do one more because you doubt what you said in the middle one. Oh yeah. yeah. And now you're one away from looking nuts. It yeah. kind of eats you up and either they never respond or finally they do and you feel like an idiot for sending too many. Yeah. So it's a slippery slope but you really want <laughs> us to call her and try and find... I, you, have you gotten to the point where you've sent two or three outgoings with no response? Yeah, the last text I sent was the uh, upside down smiley face emoji, which I don't know if you guys know what that one is, but I felt like that one was kind of like, hey, I'm still here. Like, what's going on? And yeah, it just was. I don't yeah, know what the difference is between a little desperation and interest, right? It's kind of like right. sometimes fine they're line. very fine line, razor thin. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. she's going to react to this. <laughs> it's, it's like you want to show detail and thoughtfulness and thinking and listening and interest but you don't want to look desperate Fine right line. exactly <sighs> and, and we've we've screwed that up we've screwed that up i say we because i wanted to are <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, oh you hang on one second we are going to make a second date update for you next okay we found laura why is Laura blowing off Ethan? We are going to get into that on a second date update next. Ethan, you went out with Aww. Laura. You all had a good date. And then she has stopped texting back. You want to go out again. And you want to know if everything's okay with her. Well, fortunately, exactly. she's agreed to come on. She does not know you're with us. So hold on one second. Be very quiet. I'm going to talk to her now, okay? Okay. Hold on. Hi, Laura. Hi. <laughs> it's Ryan Seacrest. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Great. Well, it's nice to meet you. I've got Sissany and Tanya with me here. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. We're calling about, I think they told you this on hold, we're calling about a guy named Ethan. Did that sound familiar? Yeah. Ethan sounds familiar. We Did you guys go on a date? We went out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What happened? And how, how was that? I, I don't. I don't know. We we had happy hour naps and talked, and that was it. But I'm done. All right. I'm just curious. Obviously, we're trying to understand it a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. What? Why weren't there sparks, or why no connection? You think? I, <laughs> it's just not for me. I'm really. I'm really good. Um, I just feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. That's it. And have you told him that? No, I mean, I don't think I, I, <laughs> he'll figure it out. It's not, it's not my job. I think he'll be fine. Well, see, that's the oh. thing. I mean, I just want to put myself in the situation for a second. It's like, that's the thing on either side. If it were you or if it were Tanya, if it were me or Tubbs, not hearing and not knowing back gives you this anxiety, this anxious feeling. Yeah. Of not knowing, did I do something? Is she okay? All those things. It seems like it's just easier, maybe more considerate, I think, too, to say, hey, man, grateful for the time. Um, but I think is I, I don't like the words it's not going to work out because I've heard that before and they hurt. So Ugh. there's got to be a better way to say basically that. Yeah, but you don't want to ghost. You know, you have to no, say no, no, something. You don't wanna, I don't think you want to ghost, Laura. It's not my job. Though to do that, and it's also not some type of job interview where I need to follow up with feedback. We've been no. out once, Dating you know. Karma. It's like I, I don't owe Dating him karma. anything else. I believe Dating in dating karma. karma. Me too. Mm -hmm. 
seems a nice guy. I'm not interested. Uh, he's on the phone now, so I just heard his voice. I'm going to bring him in. Ethan, uh, he's been listening, Laura, to this. Laura, why don't you take this opportunity to just say it, just be transparent with him now? <laughs> I mean, I just, I've done the whole, I, I'm not feeling it text with guys, and they all generally try to talk me into it and present their case like there's some sort of lawyer and it's exhausting and i I just don't want to go through that again and it's honestly a waste of my time and energy and i i i I don't know what else to tell you it's just not for me all right i mean i guess like i i know you don't like owe me anything but you could have at least just like text me back just like sent something i guess Mm -hmm. but you received the message did you not you receive a message that okay, she's not texting me back. I'm just I should just leave it there. I should move on. It was when one happy hour and appetizers of a, of a date. You know. All right. All right. Well, I guess she's not interested. I I thought we had a good time, but I guess whatever. God. All right, uh, Laura. Thank you for agreeing to come on in your honesty, Ethan. Good luck to you, bro. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Now, I beat myself up at this moment. Why is she not interested? Like, what, what, right? I mean, of course, there's a list, but why? And I self-torture and self-loathe and all that. So that I, that, that opened up a scope. Like, did that help uh, him or did, that, what, did it make it worse? For me, it made everything worse. <laughs> I mean, it helped him. Uh, hopefully, it helps Laura realize that you should just say, I don't know what well, the right Well, that's true. Are. What are the right words to say, hey, thanks for the apps or whatever they did, but uh, but what? Like, I never, I don't know. I don't think works. this is a match. I don't think we're the right match. Is that I'm not feeling it. That hurts too. No, right. you explain. You ex- like, obviously, I don't think the timing. Really what about on? the timing? I feel like the timing is Ooh, right. that's a good one. Timing's good, Tanya. Timing's not right for me right now. I was just giving it some thought, and the timing's not right. She should just say whatever was really going on. Yeah, I yeah but well, that was harsh. Oh, I want to hear that. To me, that's not that opens up wounds for people. Sorry if you had to hear that.